وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس وما يعقلها إلا العالم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions a great example in the Qur'an where he refers to those who have knowledge or have been gifted knowledge and they do not act upon it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions Surah Al-A'raf from Ayah 175. After A'udhu Billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim, wa tula alayhim nab'a al-lazhi ataynahu ayatina fa'an salakha minha, fa'atba'ahu shaytanu fa'kana min al-ghawin. Here this part he mentions, and recite upon them the news of the one who we had given him our signs, our verses, and then it was removed from him in totality. فَأَتْبَعَهُ shaytan. Then shaytan came to him and overcome him. فَكَانَ مِنَ الْغَاوِينَ Then he had become from those who were misguided. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَلَوْ شِئْنَا لَرَفَعْنَاهُ بِهَا وَلَكِنَّهُ أَخْلَدَ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ وَاتَّبَعَ هَوَاء Had we willed, we would have raised him with them, i.e. those same signs and verses that Allah had given him before. However, he chose and preferred the worldly life and followed his desires. فَمَثَلُهُ كَمَثَلِ الْكَلْبِ إِن تَحْمِلْ عَلَيْهِ يَلْهَثْ أَوْ تَتْرُكْهُ يَلْهَثْ Then Allah subhanahu wa mentions, the likeness of this individual is like a dog. If you are to tend to him, he will pant. And if you leave him, he will still pant. ذَلِكَ مَثَلَ الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا That is the likeness of those who have denied and rejected our verses. فَقُصَصِ الْقَصَصَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ So re- re- tell, tell them, give them the tales of the stories of those who preceded them, that they may be of those who ponder and reflect and take heed. Allah mentions at the end of this, سَاءَ مَثَلًا الْقَوْمِ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَأَنفُسَهُمْ كَانُوا يَظْلِمُونَ سَاءَ مَثَلًا الْقَوْمُ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَأَنفُسَهُمْ كَانُوا يَظْلِمُونَ And wretched is the example of the people who have rejected our signs and verses whilst they themselves are oppressing themselves. So within this verse or these verses, Allah SWT mentions the likeness of someone who has been gifted knowledge by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And rather than a person benefiting and acting upon that knowledge, they then gave preference to that which is displeasing to Allah. And the ikhtalafa ulama tafsir regarding who this person was, there's difference among the scholars of tafsir. Some mention was someone from Bani Israel called Bal'am, who had been given knowledge and was someone who when they supplicated to Allah, their dua was answered. But then when they gave preference to the worldly life and all that which was displeasing to Allah, that knowledge was removed from them in totality. And we learn the example of the statement of Ali ibn Talib, where he mentions, الْعِلْمُ يَهْتِفُ لِلْعَمَلِ فَإِنْ أَجَابَهُ إِلَّا ارْتَحَلَ The knowledge it calls for action. And if it's not responded to, then the knowledge will depart that person. And this is the likeness of this individual. Allah had given them knowledge. They didn't act upon that knowledge. So that knowledge was re- removed from them in totality. And as a result of this, of them giving preference to the worldly life, shaitan was able to overcome that person. فَأَتْبَعَهُ shaitan أَيْ غَلَبَهُ shaitan Shaitan overcome that person. فَكَانَ مِنَ الْغَاوِينَ يَنِي الضَّالِينَ Those who had gone astray. Allah wants you that had we willed, we'd have raised and elevated this person with that knowledge that was given to him. However, أَخْلَدَ إِلَى الْأَرْضِ They had given preference. أَثَرَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا they gave preference to the worldly life over that which was, displ- was pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah compares them to the most detested of animals. And that is the dog. And the dog, out of all of his body, they mention, the only thing it will sniff is his backside. Allah musta'an, imagine being compared to this. It's humiliating. And then the likeness of the dog, if you look at the wild dogs, for example, they eat the worst of meat. They eat the waste, the carcass meat, all of this, they'll eat it. And this is the comparison Allah has, been, has given to the one who, even if you tend to them, even if you leave them, their hal, their condition is one. They're always panting and their tongue is hanging out their mouth like a craving dog. This is the likeness of the person who chases their desires and gives preference to the worldly life over the hereafter. 
who chooses that which displeases Allah over the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when Allah commands the Prophet Muhammad to narrate these tales and these stories that we may ponder and reflect, if you look at the situation of Bani Israel, look at Bani Israel, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kam min ayatin atahumullah. How many signs and verses did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them? For example, ahlaka aduwahum. Allah destroyed their enemy, Fir'aun, wa mala'i, and his chiefs and his army. Najahum min al bahar ma igraq Fir'aun wa junudi. Allah saved them from the sea and whilst drowning, Fir'aun and his army. Again, these are signs that Allah had given, given Bani Israel. وَظَلَّلَهُمْ بِالْغَمَامِ And also shaded them with the clouds when they were on that barren land. وَتَعَمَهُمْ مِنَ الْمَنِّ وَالسَّلْوَى And gave them food from al-man wa salwa al-man uh, being a type of um, liquid that is found like agave kind of liquid that is found that is similar to honey and al-salwa which is a type of bird or the other way around a type of bird that was only found therein and was very easy to catch and soft and tender and delicious again the favors that Allah had bestowed upon them walakin athar wa hayat yani abidiya uh, Abadiyah, they, they preferred that life that they lived as slaves over the favors that Allah had given them. Also, of the favors that Allah bestowed upon them. And ba'alahum uyun al ma fi qalb sahra. Allah had given them uh, many springs. Many springs. Uh, when he told, when Musa, when they asked Allah, when they asked Musa Islam to ask Allah for water. وَإِذَا اسْتَسْقَى مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ فَقُلْ نَضْرِبْ بِعَصَاكِ الْحَجَرِ uh, When Allah had prayed to Musa a.s. to seek water and Allah commanded him to hit with this, the rock his stick and then many springs came, 12 springs came now from this, this is again from the signs of Allah as well in the heart of the desert springs of water gushing forth from a rock by the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَنزَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ التَّوْرَاهِ and Allah sent upon them a Torah as a means of guidance. That they may take heed and have guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through their Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. وَلَكِنْ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ أَعْرَضُوا وَغَيَّرُوا وَبَدَّلُوا After this they turned away from the remembrance of Allah and they changed and distorted and exchanged that which Allah had given them for the hayat dunya for the worldly life, returned back to disbelief after Allah had given them belief this is the way that they showed this gratitude for the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the relevance of this, the clear signs that they were given, clear signs serve as a means of attaining certainty. When a person has these clear signs from Allah azza wa jal, they become sure and certain that Allah is the only one who is deserving of worship. And the problem that we have here is as the poet said, Alimun bi ilmihi lam ya'malan. مُعَذَّبٌ مِنْ قَبْلِ عُبَّادِ الْوَثَنِ The person of knowledge who does not act upon their knowledge will be punished before the idol worshippers. And that is sufficient for us to know the seriousness of a person being given knowledge by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then given preference to that which displeases Allah. Turning away from the remembrance, turning away from piety and the real gratitude, شُكْرَ النِّعَمَ تَسْتَعْمِلَهَا فِي طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ the real gratitude is to use the favors Allah has given you in obedience to Allah. And a way that a person shows gratitude for knowledge is using that knowledge in a way to gain closeness to Allah and to call others to do so. So Allah mentions at the end, Allah mentions, narrate to them these stories that they may be of those who ponder and reflect and take heed. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to teach us that which will benefit us and to make us of those who benefit us, who we benefit from our knowledge. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina wa habibina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.